Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans and what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about a conversation or series of them of a psychological, emotional, mental health, spiritual health, and coaching related paradigm. We try to do that as often as we can, several times per week. We've got over 870 of these available for your listening pleasure and on a variety of topics. We'd love if you subscribed, liked, commented below and uh, let us know how else we can be helpful. In any event, this is our Life Lessons series. This is number 46 in the series. Also, uh, if you're looking for coaching on a relational level, on a mental health or emotional level, on a behavioral change modification and, uh, and or a professional level, please feel free to reach out. There's a couple ways to do that, at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. So, uh, looking at Life Lessons. Life lessons can be interesting because sometimes they can be counterintuitive to what we've been taught to believe. The first thing we need to consider is the possibility of breaking rules. Now, notice I didn't say breaking laws. That's different than breaking rules. Your internal rules govern how you live your life, and if your rules aren't matching up with where you want to go or they're not progressive towards a positive direction or a direction that allows you to continue to be consistent with how you relate with the world, there will be problems as we begin to go forward. Understanding that breaking rules doesn't necessarily mean having disregard for other people or yourself, but also looking at the rules that you live by and by which you govern your life and, and determining whether or not they are positive, negative, or neutral in your life and changing the ones that are negative or neutral and leaving you stuck can be super valuable. The next thing to look at is study. Study people. Study the people that are doing what you, the where where you don't want to be. Uh, a lot of times, people say, "I'm I'm scared of being homeless, or I'm scared of being poor, or I'm scared of being this or that," but they don't necessarily study uh, the, what what they don't want to become. And I think it, it's beautiful advice to say, "Study what you want to become. Study study the people who are doing what you want to do, making the difference you want to make." And that's valuable, but also Study the inverse. Study the mistake makers. Study the people who are uh, out of alignment with their best life because they can teach us just as much as the people that have power and are doing good things um, simply by looking at it from the perspective of, hey, there's a chance to make a difference here in a really good way if we can understand what not to do as much as we understand what to do. The next thing to consider uh, is kind of connecting on a deeper level with the possibility of service. So service can be something small like giving a listening ear or a hug. Service can be something a little medium like going to the store for somebody or offering to watch their pet. Service can be giving advice or counsel or giving a listening ear. There's a million ways to serve, but when we serve, we can't be ungrateful, meaning that when we need to change our emotional state for into a better state of being, when we serve and need to make the world a better place, one of the easiest and most simple ways to do that is to be of a service mindset. When you have the servant's heart, you begin to understand that the only things that really matter are the differences we make for other people and we, we enrich ourselves through that process. Um, but it's also, you know, at the end of the day, we've got to find the balance between investing in things we enjoy um, and, and seeing ourselves in a meaningful and, and masterful way. Um, um, and understanding sooner or later that uh, we don't always have the answers, we don't always have the knowledge, we don't always have the power that we would like to have, but having all of these things is probably a good idea, and, and looking at the way to do that is, uh, uh, should be, or can be, a constant source of inspiration if we allow it to be so. The next thing to consider is uh, looking at our language. So, a lot of people say only speak positivity, and I say that doesn't always work. When we speak neutrality over ourselves and then shift to a positive direction, we actually do better. So neutral language is it is possible. It could be. It might be. 
what is possible, what could or might happen gives us a, a mindset towards thinking of solutions and possibilities. When we look at possibilities, we can choose what we decide and desire to believe and what we don't. So when we begin to understand the value of doing that on a deeper level in a more meaningful, connective, we also then begin to understand the value of connecting on a deeper level in a manner that's that's good and positive and healthy and intelligent. So it doesn't necessarily mean we have to know everything that's there. It also doesn't necessarily mean we have to know everything that we're going to do next. But when we begin to understand um, how to how to manage, how to make better decisions, how to be intelligent within ourselves, and ultimately, you know, connect that on the on a level that's going to lead us forward, we can then be more intelligent, more healthy, and more focused. So the next thing to consider is uh, kind of looking at the nature of um, manners as it relates to love, giving and receiving love. So true love is unconditional acceptance, unconditional acceptance and is actually quite rare. So when we love, we have to look at any conditions we may or may not be placing upon situations. It doesn't necessarily mean that if we, if we have a condition upon something that we're a bad person, but it does potentially mean that the conditions we place on something may be holding us back from having a complete experience. The more we're growth-minded towards being more open and more tolerant of people that are different from us, the easier it is to find ways to connect with love in a lasting manner. The next thing is responsibility, the ability to respond. Focus on our ability to respond continually. Having a response doesn't necessarily mean having the right answer or a progressive answer in immediacy. But the evolution of answers to problems, no matter how big, like world hunger or, or, or poverty, or how small, what to have for dinner, it can make us resourceful and actually activate different parts of the brain. Have empathy for others. Empathy does not mean that you have the ability have the ability nor the responsibility of solving a person's issues, but the willingness to desire to see them have a better quality of life is continual. The final thing is adaptability. So when a person is in a situation, sometimes we're stubborn about um, the way we wish things should go or the way we think things should go. And sometimes being more adaptable, being more flexible can actually create opportunities for growth and contribution in a new and meaningful way. So hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.